All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to derive Laplace's equation from first principles and you'll see it's very neat. And here's the assumption. Suppose F is a fluid in equilibrium. What does that mean? Again, let's fix a region U and what this means is for every subregion, so for every V that's an open bounded subset of U, we assume that the net flux of F across V is zero. So assumption. The net flux, again not Netflix, but net flux of F is zero. And again, in terms of integrals and stuff, what the net flux represents is just a surface integral. So in other words, the integral over the boundary of V, so partial V, partial V of F dotted with, if you want the uh, unit normal vector, so let's call this nu, F dotted with nu, again ds equals zero again that's a net flux and we assume it's zero but the nice thing is well this is very divergence theorem -y. so by the divergence theorem this becomes the integral over all of v of the divergence of f dx equals zero so in other words it's quite interesting if you take any subregion of U and you integrate the divergence of F over that region, you ultimately get zero. So, in other words, what we have in the end is as follows. So we know for all V subset of U, we get that uh, the integral of the divergence of F dx equals zero. And the nice thing is, again, no matter what region we have, the integral of the divergence of f is zero. And what this means is, well, the inside function has to be zero. So divergence of f equals zero. Again, almost everywhere, but let's assume it's continuous. So indeed everywhere. And in case, well, if you want to know how to prove it, it's very nice. Just let V be the set where the divergence is positive. Then essentially it's nowhere positive. And if you let V the set where this is negative, it's nowhere negative. So it has to be zero. Okay, but now uh, basically, this is just a general um, vector field, but how can we get to Laplace's equation from that? Well, it's in physical situations, it's reasonable that your vector field points either towards or against where your density moves the quickest or where the gradient is. So at least in physical models, it's um, apparently clear to assume that F equals minus a times the gradient of u. So assume f is minus a of gradient of u, where a is positive. And in physical situations, this is, I think, um, in chemistry, that's called Fick's law of diffusion. In temperature, that's called Fourier's law of heat conduction. In electricity, that's called Ohm's law of el electrical conduction. Again, words, I have no idea what they mean, but in math, this makes sense. Then what you can do, you can plug in that ansatz into this equation. And what you get is, then you get divergence of minus a du equals zero. So minus a divergence of du equals zero. But again, what is the divergence of the gradient? That's nothing other than the Laplacian. So in other words, what we get is simply minus a times the Laplacian 
of u is zero, and canceling out a because it's positive, we indeed get Laplace's equation. So minus Laplace in of u is zero, and you can use this to derive Laplace's equation, but it turns out in similar situations, you can use this to um, derive the heat equation as well, or even the wave equation. And maybe I'll do that in another video. All right, I hope you like this, and if you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.